the raid community week's titan event is the biggest thing happening in raid right now but guess what i'm not participating in it that's why you've not seen a video from me yesterday the day before talking about this event when it first launched because i wanted you guys to make the decision on your own by now you know whether you're going for it or not but right from the time i looked at it i was like nope this is an opportunity for me to take a break relax farm masters of my champion build teams that i've not built for a while three weeks entire break from raid is a welcome one of course i'm still gonna be logging in doing my dailies and normal stuff but nothing to be fomo about that's what i was so excited for when i saw this community weeks titan event it looks forward to giving you a four star milestone perfect soul for this amazing mythical champions and then i have three reasons why i actually skipped out on it let me give it to you now because i didn't post it on the first day when this event launched the first one that you need a break you need a break from raid shadow legends i didn't say you should stop playing i'm saying you need a break from the back-to-back -back fusions normally we have a fusion i have a, like three weeks of break then another fusion so this is opportunity for you to take that break even if you already have a mikage one star perfect soul or you don't have her yet for my own account i don't have her yet so it wasn't that high of a priority to obtain this champion four star perfect so which is going to give you a bunch of stats to help you use her even better i've been chasing mikage yes i'm not i'm not slacking i've gotten this epic i've gotten enough to make or i put this i pulled one this legendary from a shard i thought i have tatsu or one of these legendaries i do have tatsu where is she there i don't know but anyways hopefully i'm not on the wrong account oh i'm on the new to pro that's why let me switch over to my main account and show you what is happening over there instead okay this is my main account i did have that too and i've gone a, a long way in this fusion see gotten three of them remaining just this last one to the epics to obtain her finally but that's what i'm thinking like i don't have her yet even if i already had her i'll still take a break from all the craziness that is happening in raid back to back back to back events so this three weeks time what will i be doing well i'm going out of town that number one when i get back i'll share the news and the pictures on the discord why i went out of town so hint hint some of you might already know the reason why but anyways so i'll be out of town from now on till the month of may till 9th of may when this new fusion starts that maybe i'll be around by then if you've not voted for the new fusion and skills yet the a1 is available i've already done a video that we posted out tomorrow for you guys to go check out you have some rewards to be won if you go check out that video and how you can win all right so that's the first thing that you need a break from all the craziness that is happening that's why i decided not to go crazy for this community with titan event from my mobile device i can complete it a shard opening event has already started alongside with it because it will have like two or three shard opening events and but i want to save my resources for the may fusion an endgame account can do this event and still do the new fusion that is coming up in may but i didn't just want to stretch my resources too thin so that's the second reason right here the may fusion should be the reason why for a newer player if you go for this titan event you will not have enough resources to go for the upcoming um champion that we're currently voting for his skills for right where is he this champion right you won't have enough resources to go for him if you go for this ongoing community with titan event for a four star perfect so for lady mikage so that's it if you want that fusion skip this event especially for free to play players trust me you don't have enough to go for both of them because this is going to be a little bit difficult in terms of the events and tournament that you have to complete and a long three weeks means there's a lot of things that will drain your resources maybe even up to three shot opening soul stone summoning different ways to get some um community or web points like they're calling it right now so i'm sure it will be quite juicy like i said the first event that i saw this morning was a 15x um taras or marishka or ziharima one of them one of those crazy champions that everybody seems to want is now available to, towards a shard open let me quickly check and check it out this might be the reason why most players who have already chosen to skip out on this would want to go for this for a 15x chance of getting harima yeah there she is so that's an opportunity for some players to get her i guess but i don't have her and i'm not close to messi and i'm not gonna try or attempts to even use primal or any type of shards to see if you can obtain her you can even use secret shards and she is available right there so she's totally worth it if you're a spender <laughs> but you have to pull like three legendaries four legendaries and if you're lucky you finally obtain her that's the 
15x is not still enough, 20x is not still enough, 25x is not still enough because you still have a high chance of getting legendaries that are not it at all. So there are other events that are popped up in game including the dungeon divers, a long dungeon divers as usual. I was farming the fire knight for the um, prim prism crystals and I managed to come close to the dungeon divers endpoint right here. It wasn't my intention. I was just farming fire knight. That's how I came close. Should I even complete and get it 5200 since I'm already here? Well, I guess in two days I'll find events on tournament that will make me farm dungeons enough to get this primer because I'm saving a lot of primers on my account. So that's the um, first events we're seeing. Dungeon Divers Artifact Enhancements are launched. I'm not touching it. Like I said, I'm taking a break. Even if he has all the web events, even if an Ancient Shard, maybe for a Secret Shard, I might push it, but Ancient Shard is not enough reason for me to go over there. And I also don't have a lot of champions I want to rebuild or regear right now. So I'm skipping that. Someone rushes for that um, 15x. And those are the events that are launched. The Heroes part has ended, and I was lucky enough to go for that five star. Um, perfect soul for this amazing dream song oystrid champion i currently have a five star perfect soul obtained right here amazing so if you did not go for it you still have or if you went for it you've not spent all your coins um, your heroes hero coins or hero spot coins make sure you go over there and spend them before it expires um, because if it expires it's gonna switch your coins into silver for you and send your silver to your inbox you don't want that so go over there and spend some of the coins you obtain from this hero spark event before the timer expires and it disappears from this point so that's the events that have popped up for tournaments i'm seeing the fire knight is still on with five hours to go and i have done my best that i can to get the top milestone in that fire knight event right top milestone that's it right here and i will be opening my prism crystals in this video from my main account and the new pro we are looking forward to this weekend being a some of its champion chase but obviously it was not so i stopped trying to hold on to my um what do you call it adline chase and i just claimed it because <laughs> it wasn't a champion chase there was no reason to keep pressing the arrow key on the keyboard to skip her so i finally obtained her after waiting one day and champion chase was not announced summon rush was instead announced so let's go over there to summon uh summon pool champions because there's also no reason to hold on 30 30 that's just two summons that i can do because i farmed the iron twins fortress the sand devil necropolis and got 30 and um, prism crystals from there i also farmed the fire knight at the um, stage six to also get 30 points from there which kept me at 70 points right now let me see if i can obtain one of these farm mon mon sword like i said since the first day this um, summoning portal event started i've never obtained anything any legendary from here because there's no mercy we still keep trying we're still not giving up will today be the day i finally get my legendary that i've been looking forward to the loop to pro also farmed sand devil and fire knight so i'll also be summoning from that account to see what we can get please give me a legendary and please let it be something good no it's an epic a good epic but not one that i need on an old account like this one more it's my legendary not another epic a bad one romero not a good one at all not even for faction wars so that's my luck still not striking any gold this time around the legendary pool was low i mean the amount was low but still i still had a six percent chance of getting a legendary but i did not hit it let's switch over to the noob to pro and see what that account can do with the prison crystals it finally obtained from both sources of sand devil necropolis and um fire knights do you have space all right let's go no i do not have space one sec let me make space all right i made a space let's try that again and see if the new pro can strike gold for the first time this account does need some amazing epics to help me take down faction wars and this aota is not one of them secret order is not that difficult right but he's uh, gonna be amazing for that faction if he's needed in that faction. All right, the second one, and it's gonna be another epic, and it's Candle Lady Kal Kalinia. Not great one. So all that effort farmed in the Sand Devil Necropolis and all that effort farmed in the Fire Knight did not go to waste at all. If I head over to my um, artifacts, uh, what do you call it now? Upgrade and show you a little bit of an. Um, a glimpse of what all those sand devil farm farming can do for you this is the noob to pro 
all that farm devil sand devil farming and of course the fire knight gear is also great for an account like this so i keep trying for those two events because even if i'm not getting any epics or legendaries from this summoning pool events i'm still getting some resources that i desperately need which is that um resources that is needed to um ascend gear if i go to the upgrade ascend see 5800 lesser oils this is a lot a lot on an account like this so i've found this like three different times i get that's why i'm stacking up on a lot of it because these events keep coming up i keep farming it and i still get nothing anyways that's my luck on this account is there any other news that i wanted to share with you i think i'll put it in a different video i wanted to pick winners for the um account giveaway because today is friday i think i'll put it in a different video let me not make this one too long i just wanted to hop on here and share some in-game news with you regarding the ongoing portal that is summoning telling you that it's not for you it's for spenders who really really want harima i also wanted to hop on an opportunity to summon my summoning pool champions if you do not summon right here you just let it chill it will eventually summon for you if you went for the event and you have up to 30 it will summon for you and put that champion in your inbox so that's why i went ahead to summon my Maybe one of those days I'll let it summon for me and see if that day I'll be lucky enough because since me summoning this Prism Crystal by myself is not giving me any luck, maybe one day I'll let the game summon for me and see if I get lucky that way. Alright, that's all that is happening in Raid right now. Let me hop on to the next video and show you the winners of that noob to pro um, not the noob to pro now, the um, free to play account or not the free to play, the... Um, the account that I announced, the account giveaway that I announced. Let me hop on to that next video. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. This is all that is happening in Raid right now. And yes, it's true. I'm taking a break. I'll see you in the month of May when the new fusion comes around. But hey, don't forget, this channel will not left be left hanging. I will be trying my best from my location in the remote location right here to put out one or two videos. I'll pre-record some videos right now today and see if I can schedule it to be released in the further. And uh, weeks that comes up when I'll not be around. Make sure you guys engage with those videos because it won't be daily videos, it'll be two two days in advance videos or so. So make sure you engage with it when you see it. Later, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe for more raid content.